hi guys hope you're all doing well and in this video i'm going to talk about azure ad connect pass through authentication with seamless sso i'll be showing a real-time example of what will be the user experience and with the help of fiddler trace i'll try to cover each and every aspect of how browser or how the user agent interacts with login.microsoftonline.com moving on to the next slide uh, where we will learn how it works while installing Azure AD Connect, there are two options that you need to select and those two options are pass through authentication and enable single sign on. When you select this option of enable single sign on, what it does that it creates a account, a computer account in your on-prem directory named as Azure AD SSO ACC. And there are four SPNs also being registered with this account. Now, these SPNs are basically referencing to the endpoints which are responsible for seamless SSO, which are auto logon .microsoft Azure ad ssocom and aadg.windows.net and sadc.net. Now, this is a part of prerequisite that uh, will be done by default, but there are two more in fact, there is one more link that needs to be added in local intranet zone, which I'll be showing uh, on, on DC. Now, the reason being why it has to be added in local intranet zone, because uh, uh, the browser has uh, a default setting of automatically login into lo local intranet zone. So by the combination of these two settings, the entire SSO, seamless SSO works, as well as the curb decryption key of this particular computer object is securely shared with Azure Active Directory. So this is the process which happens while you install Azure AD Connect with pass through authentication and seamless SSO. Now let's talk about user experience. Let's say we have a user who logs on to portal.office.com and type his or her UPN. With the help of HRD, the request will be sent to login.microsoftonline.com and login.microsoftonline.com will then send a 401 to the browser. Now, this 401 means uh, uh, unauthorized request. As a result of this uh, response from login.microsoftonline.com, the browser sends a request to your local AD to get the curb ticket of this computer account. Now again, the question comes, why the curb ticket of this computer account? Because it will contain user claims as well. Now, once this uh, curb ticket has been received by the browser, the same curb ticket is forwarded to Azure Active Directory, from which the Azure Active Directory retrieves the claims and provide the respective token to the application. Now, this is something which has been publicly documented by Microsoft and I'll be sharing uh, the article in the description as well. You guys can go through with that article and if you have any other questions which you think I have not covered in this uh, slide or in this presentation, please feel free to reach me. Now, let's switch to DC to check the configuration uh, which needs to be done. So this is the GPO which I have created, which will be pushing autologon.microsoftazuread-sso.com and secure AAD CDN Microsoft Online-P.com to the intranet zone of the browser. That means your client machine. And let's say you have already installed Azure AD Connect and you want to switch from one authentication method to 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 the other one and uh, in, in this case it's pass through authentication with seamless SSO what you need to do is you have to launch Azure AD connect and you, you need to go to change user sign in and here you have to select the option of pass through authentication and enable single sign on so again these are the two options which are required to enable this feature once you select this option click on next and then this particular feature will be enabled by the time being this uh, feature will get enabled through azure ad connect what you will see is uh, the same account getting created in your dc 
and if you want to verify uh, the SPNs, you can check it from here. So these are the four SPNs which are registered and which will be responsible for seamless SSO. Now I'll switch uh, to my client machine to show how exactly it works. So in order to get more insights about the entire authentication process, what you can do is you can install Fiddler. It's a free tool available online, which will show you the entire uh, entire HTTPS traffic running from a particular client machine. So what I'll do is I'll start capturing the traffic and I'll go to my browser where it will automatically take me to portal.office.com. And as you can see, the authentication request is being sent to login.microsoftonline.com. Now I'm getting this uh, option of selecting my account because I've already logged in before with this account. If this would have been the very first time, I would have got the option wherein I have to enter UPN. So the moment I select this option, this is what the user will experience. No need of entering the password and the user will directly land to office.com homepage. I'll stop the capture and let's see what exactly happened when the user tried to log into portal.office.com. So this is the very first request which has been sent. A get request for portal.office.com which was redirected to login.microsoftonline.com and here you can see that login.microsoft on the authorized endpoint in fact this is the first request which login.microsoftonline.com has received with some set of required parameters you can check it from here these are all all these terms are being related to auth which i will be covering in a different video now once login.microsoftonline.com has received this request. This request will be forwarded to auto logon.microsoft uh, online. In fact, Microsoft Azure 80 SSO.com. And this is the point, uh, or this is uh, the step wherein auto logon.microsoft Azure 80 SSO.com returns a 401 to the browser. Now, there is a process which is happening and uh, let me show this in a detail so that see this is the endpoint which actually checks whether the SSO seamless SSO is enabled for the user or for that particular directory or not. Once it has been checked, now on behalf of this request, the browser will contact uh, the AD and get the curb ticket of that particular computer object which will be further forwarded to your Azure AD to the same endpoint from which we received a 401. Once Azure AD has received this curb ticket uh, from the browser, what you will see that login.microsoftonline.com will now give a token to office.com and portal.office.com and what you will see here is let me quickly open uh, that particular token this is the token which has been sent to portal.office.com now again uh, this since it is uh, not federated environment this is a managed environment itself so you will see OAuth interaction in, instead of uh, SAML or WS Fed now what we'll do is we'll quickly go ahead and check that what exactly this token information uh, or what exactly what are the claims inside the this particular token and you can simply check it from here which from this particular website which is jwt.io and as you can see my username is enter enter at conceptswork.com is the upn of the user with which i logged in on that client machine so this was all about how pass-through authentication works if you think you have learned something new please feel free to share this video also if you have any questions regarding this video the content that i have covered please feel free to reach us at learnsconceptwork at gmail.com i will be sharing the respective articles that are publicly available my, by microsoft if you think there is something that i have missed or which i have not covered please feel free to reach me and i'll make sure that i'll cover it 
that piece in some other video.